guys, this is Laura from Doggy U, and I'm here in Pueblo, Colorado at Pueblo State Park, and I wanted to show you my uh, Goal Zero setup, because this is the first time I've really used it with the fridge and the fan and charging it and all of that. So I'm going to show you my simple Goal Zero uh, Yeti Lithium 1000 setup so you guys can see how simple this is. So here is my Goal Zero Yeti Lithium 1000, which is running everything in my car. And you can see this right here is this power plug. And this power plug goes, not prettily yet because I bought too short of a power plug, but it goes up to run my fan. And you can see right now it's running um, my fridge, which is right here, uh, which is a 75 Dometic, which I'll link below, and my um, fan, and it's drawing eight right now for watts, so pretty low. If I turn this fan off, I believe it goes down to about two. So I just turn the fan off. Okay, so now it's running, oh, it's going up, there we go. It goes around two watts if the compressor's not running on the fridge. So I've got my fridge right here. This is a dog crate, if you're wondering what it's sitting on. So I've got a rough, rough tough kennel, or now they're rough land kennel, where my smaller dog goes. It's got this nice bin on top that holds all of my crap that you can see here. And then I put the uh, goal zero up here to run everything. So the fridge is only running at two watts. Now you'll know that I, I did that other video where I tested it indoors using um, the regular 120 plugs. Um, well, I bought this super connector here from Goal Zero that makes it so the Dometic no longer has that shut off because the problem was that you couldn't keep running the Goal Zero past a certain point on the battery because it would shut off uh, if you just plugged it directly in with the with this um, 12 volt. So uh, now I have this connector which bypasses that and I've had no problems. So I also obviously able to charge my phone on here. Everything is able to run easily on here with very little usage. So it was at about 96 or so when I came here yesterday. So it's working wonderfully. Um, and then the other question that I would get is, how are you charging it? Do you have solar? No, I don't. Uh, I had solar in my other van. I found that I didn't really need it because I drive a ton. So let me show you what I'm doing. This is my first time testing it on this trip and it's awesome. So right here find it i have this little plug set uh, that i bought at goal zero and it is a charger that'll allow you to charge off of your 12 volt in your car so i just plug it in on the input here and then i plug this portion sorry one man show here just a little bit into here while I'm driving and it will start charging right away. So actually, let me just turn the car on for you guys. Okay, so now you'll see that my charger is lit up. So it is charging. We'll go over to here and we see that my compressor is now on. So it's running some output. And then we also see that our input. So this answers the question that a lot of people ask, which is, can you use the battery while charging it? Yes, absolutely. So it's currently charging and we're using about 45 watts to do the fridge and that'll drop down as soon as the compressor goes off. So you can see the green light there, the compressor is on on the fridge. So that's how I'm running everything. So I just wanna show you this simple way for someone who's not tech savvy, who just wants a plug and play option. We've got our Goal Zero Lithium Yeti 1000. I'll link it below and I'll link a bunch of the other products I'm using here um, down at the, the bottom in the description, but this can easily run everything that you're looking for. So when I charged this on the way down to Pueblo, I went from Denver to Pueblo, which is about two, two and a half hours. It went from mm, around 74 or so up to 96 in that amount of time. So what that tells me is that I don't ever need solar. I, you know, I drive way too much to need solar. I don't sit in one spot. Um, this Yeti could easily run the fridge and everything else that you need uh, for at least a week if you're like, if you're not using it plugged in, especially the fridge, because that's what I did from Connecticut to Denver. Uh, I ran the fridge the whole time. It was five days, no issue. I still had uh, over 60% battery. And then if you get this plug-in so that you can 
plug into your car while you're driving, you're pretty much set as long as you don't have huge power needs. And I tend to plug my laptop in when I'm at Starbucks working or something like that. So this is an easy plug and play system. I've got my Yeti, I've got my fan going on, important for the dogs. I got my fridge and my freezer, which uh, I love about the 75. It's got two spots so I can have my, uh, my dogs, you can see the meat Kongs down in the bottom. And then I have a little bit of my food in there. I'm good to go. And then uh, we just charge it right in front. So that's it. If you have any questions about this really, really simple setup, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, also, you'll notice I'm going to do a, I got my Wayfair conversion and I'm going to do a video on that, but I also need to figure out what I'm doing with my ceiling. This is a short roofed van. So I've got, um, I couldn't use the top part of the Wayfair kit. And I also didn't want to take away the height because right now I can stand full height in my van. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do to do a little bit of insulation without killing it. So if you have any ideas for products uh, that work for you, that would be great. Uh, you can see the beautiful view of where I'm staying here in Pueblo State Park. Loving it. And uh, well, that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. Check out this view. Dog, checking out the view as well. Have a good one, guys. Happy camping.